Hi everyone, Burton here from VL Technology, and in today's video we're going to be showing you how to use Javadocs in IntelliJ. Now if you don't know what a Javadoc is, it's basically just a way, so when you hover over the function, or you're in another method, it gives you a nice description of um, what the parameters are, what it does, that sort of thing. And it's used mainly to help yourself in the future and other programmers on your team to understand what your function does. Anyway, let's jump right into it. So IntelliJ makes this incredibly easy for us, uh, even in just the community edition, which I'm using now. So let's just go ahead and do it. So you start right above your function, one line. So we've got our thing here with a throws that doesn't really mean anything, but you'll do slash star star and then hit enter and we automatically fill it in. So let's just go quickly what these lines mean. Uh, at param just means the parameter. It's one for every parameter in this. So if I had 10, there'd be 10 at param lines. So let's just say this is post object to add authorization to. Okay, so, and what does the function do? That's what this first line is. You can even do a multi-line on this, as many lines as you want. But, so let's just say, um, this function, or let's see, adds authorization header to post object. Boom, easy enough. And if you've got a throws, uh, it'll automatically add the at throws tag for you, which says, okay, it's throwing an IO exception. If you wanna add any additional information about what it does, why it does that, that sort of thing. You can add that there. But let's take a quick look at it and see what it looks like. So one way to look at it now is to hover over your function. So now we've got this little box down here, oops, is your Java doc. So you can see, adds authorization header to post object. We've got the param. We know what the param is, which one we should add to it. And we know what it throws because of this Java doc. It's a good practice method to use this um, in larger projects or if things are very unintuitive. It's very good to always have comments and notes to yourself because you will forget what your code does in about a week. It's, it's very common. Anyway, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for future videos.